Hi, and welcome to this video on how to add your own headlines to uh, the Business Central role centers. Hi, I'm Eric, and in this video, we're going to add our own uh, headlines to, to Business Central. And what do you mean by headlines? Let me show you. Here is my Business Central, and you can see on the role center, I have, let me get rid of this message, I have some headlines. Good morning, and insights from last week, and your top customer and stuff like that. So how do you add one of these yourself? Okay, uh, so if you go and look at blog post and the documentation, um, it sounds really, really complicated. There's lots of stuff you need to do. Um, and, and there is, and, and the primary reason for this is that Microsoft wants the role center to use as little resources as possible. So let's look at one of the examples. Your top customers was something and what, what did they buy? So that's not a number that's readily available. So you have to run through the customers, calculate all the balances and or all the sales and, and figure out which one is the top one. And you don't want to do that every time you show your role centers. So you want to cache that information. And the whole concept of caching is what makes headlines so freaking complicated if you look at all the examples. But if what you want to show is not a complicated uh, uh, data to pick up, then you don't have to do all that. So, so let me actually show how to do uh, create our own headline in a few lines of codes. Um, so. The first thing we need to know is that there is a different headline page. Um, so, so this set, there's a different headline page part for each role center. So let's fire up the, um, the page inspector, Alt, Control, F1, grab this one, and oops, that was too quick. Grab this one again. So we can see that this is headline part page 1440 because i have right now the business manager and so the headline or the business manager page is the one that we want to extend uh, i have prepared like a good chef a fresh uh, extension here um, so let's add a new file our own headline.al and what we want to create is a page extension. And I assigned a number of series to this extension, our own headline. And we want to extend the, remember the name, should go back and look, the headline RC business manager. So the headline RC business menu, that's the object that we want to extend. And this is layout, so we want to extend the layout. Um, and we'll do an add after. We could add before if we, if we want our head. We can let us actually add before. Um, and then we can see that this one has some anchors. The control one and control two. And let's switch back to this one for a second. We can clearly see that there are, let me close the page inspector. There are five headlines right now. But what we saw in Visual Studio is that there seems only to be two in here. And the reason for that is that what you see is actually already extended. So if I go into extensions here, we have an extension. Let me just locate it. This one, the essential business headlines. So this extension is actually adding the last three. So the insight from last three months, the insight uh, from last month and the uh, insight from last week, those three are actually added by that extension. So only the first two are coming from the actual page. So let's go back and say, okay, we will add before control one. And we'll add a field. And what do we put in the field? We put in a text. So we say, say headline text because we are not that inventive. 
and we'll just do a quick trigger here saying on page open on open page we will say headline text equal uh, hello from YouTube there we go and now we're going to insert this one here add an application area because we need to have an application area so that was 19 lines of code let's run it f5 very exciting we get a new browser tab spend the time while it's loading to create your and bam hello from youtube so now we had a headline and we can see that now there are six bubbles here so how we said add before so now it's the first one and then the two from the page the the greeting and the insight from last week and those insights from the other one we can do some other things that let's actually so control one if we go up in here and do an f12 on this one just stop the debugger uh, we can see that these are actually using the drill down to, to go somewhere so let's add that functionality to functionality to uh to our also um so if we do a trigger on drill down begin we can do hyperlink because that's so popular and we'll just grab my block um, let's try that again f5 So now it's a link. There's my blog. You can go visit that if you haven't seen that before. Um, but there's one more trick. You can see this one. There are like something that's emphasized inside it. So how do we do that? uh let's try and go back so here are our thing um the easiest way and and that's the that's the um, and 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 that's the the theme of uh of this video anyway you actually add in a attack inside the uh emphasize that's hot. So you add a tag inside your string. Hello, user! Explanation point. So this is just a tag inside the string. I'll hit a five. Compile this again. And I close more tabs, and we can see the result now. User is emphasized so it the whole thing is still a link so there's no difference between if it, if if you're clicking on this part or this part it's still the same thing it's on drill down that uh, happens no matter what um so that's a headline um so let's let's circle back for a second to the caching thing uh because if you do complicated and and processor intensive operations to get your headline you should totally uh, uh, cache the information and there are plenty of ex explanation on how to do that uh, in in blog posts all over the all over the the web um, but the question is when should you go to caching and and let's look at some examples here so in this case we have two boxes the favorite account so this one will grab five records from uh, from the database and it will also calculate five flow fields. This thing is not cached. 
This thing, on the other hand, the trial balance, is actually cached. So, so it's calculated once every 10 minutes or so, and then the uh, the information is stored in a in a, in a cache table, and and that's it's was what's shown. So you should you should use these two as a indicator if you're in in this box you're fine just go do uh, what you need to do in your headline if you if you're in this box and that amount of, of work then you should consider caching to uh, uh, to make the the row center snappy um, but adding these are a very very simple thing and and you can the only thing you need to remember is is that we have only extended the business manager side we have not touched anything else so if you want to extend all um all row centers you need to create multiple page extension one for each uh headline part um, and that's it that's how you add your own headlines to uh, to business central if you like videos like this Follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the YouTube channel, put your comments in, in below if, uh, if there's something you need me to, uh, to address. This video was made as a reply to a request in, in the Facebook group. That's also a very good place to hang out. Uh, and yeah, until next time, have fun.